The Curvin Bay Sox opened up the Western Division Championship Series yesterday with Chad Cool taking the mound for Altoona. Let's go to the top of the second inning as Cool and the Curve defense have some issues. Seven buoy runs come across the plate, aided by three curve errors. And the pitch bounces through the legs of Stallings into the backstop, and here they come. Rosa trotting in easily to score from third. But the bullpen provided some relief coming into the game and combining for seven and a third scoreless innings and seven strikeouts, helping to keep the curve in it. Altoona got on the board in the fourth inning and really got to base Sox starter Joe Gunkel in the fifth when they loaded the bases for Barrett Barnes. The first pitch is driven well out to left field. Back is Lattimore. He is looking up, and that one is out of here. It is a grand slam home run for Barrett Barnes and the curve are right back in this one, seven to five. The Barnes Grand Slam brought the curve back within striking distance, trailing by only two. Let's head to the ninth as the Bay Sox brought in closer Andrew Triggs, looking to close out a six out save. Jose Osuna gets on with a one out single to bring Austin Meadows to the plate. Two out of Meadows. Swings and hammers it back to right field. Yastrzemski back. Yastrzemski's at the wall, he leaps up. That ball is gone. Austin Meadows has tied the game. The Meadows home run ties the game at seven and brings new life to the curve. Following the long ball, Barrett Barnes gets an infield single and advances to second on a throwing error. And the next batter was Jacob Stallings. First pitch, swings and shoots it back into center field and that's down for a hit. Here comes Barnes around third. Throw in from Davis. Not in time, the curve with it. Ball game over. The Curve score eight unanswered runs against Bowie to come from behind and take a 1-0 lead in the Western Division Championship Series. Catch game two tonight at PNG Field. First pitch is at 6 o'clock p.m.